So things were going really well and then they weren't going so well and we've got some unhappy players. I feel like I'm turning into Jose Mourinho. We we got to stop that. We got to stop that. Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back. Episode 60 of Sunday League to Premier League, a journeyman save. If you're enjoying this type of content, I know I am. Please hit that subscribe button, tap that bell notification, smash that like button and comment as well. Just feed the YouTube algorithm. Anyway guys, um, yeah, as I said, it's, um, okay, look, maybe it was a little bit like, you know, uh, dramatic about it not going so well. Uh, we haven't won in two, and we obviously lost to Montpellier because if everyone remembers the Montpellier disaster from, I believe it was two years ago. I found it. This was the uh, this game here, was a 4 1 loss to Montpellier. Um, we dubbed that the, the Montpellier disaster. Uh, yes, that was uh, that was two years ago. So they've come back and they've beaten us this time 1 0, uh, which was disappointing. Uh, and then we drew nil all with Lorient. This game was just, I couldn't believe this game. Have a look at this. RXG 2.84. And uh, their goalkeeper got an 8.3. It was, it was pretty amazing. They probably should have scored one as well. So we were lucky that they didn't. Uh, in between all of that, we did beat Lens 1 0. 4 1 of Olympic Leon. <laughs> the team that we always play and sometimes beat. And Jez, Nice, smashed Feyenoord in the Champions League. Uh, they're one of our. Group C people, people, teams, we'll get onto them in a minute. 4 0 of Strasbourg, and I was like, this is going well. Things cannot go bad from here. And then they did. Obviously, the loss of Montpellier, Laurent. Uh, our Champions League groups, Arsenal, groups, games, teams, clubs, come on. Uh, Arsenal, Feyenoord, and Club Bruges. Brugge? Bruges. Um, yeah, so Arsenal, they, they drew their first game, that was against Bruges. We're facing them today. I thought that would that would be a really good game. They're actually struggling a bit in the Premier League to eighth, so I'm going to keep an eye out for that because that job could be pretty good. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we've got them and then Saint Etienne uh, <clears throat> to come. Now, when I say about players being unhappy, uh, we've got a few. We've got Ishmael uh, Asidu. He is unhappy. He wanted to leave, and then he's literally been busted twice going out to a nightclub. If I can find that, where was it? It was the 29th. Of September was his second indiscretion. I've never had this come up um, yet. It, it, here it is. Yep. Here it is. Unfortunate due to you reporting that Ishmael missed training today. It seems just wanted to leave a nightclub in the early hours of this morning. So the previous one as well. So he's he's been he's been busted twice for coming out of a nightclub. I believe that's something that the regen's doing this. Uh, so that's. That's not good. Obviously, we all know about Koska. He uh, wants to leave, but we've negotiated 115 million if he goes. Um, Goebbels and Fila came to me upset about the whole situation with Ishmael, and I basically said, no, he's being a dick. And they got really upset with me, although they're not uh, too sort of, you know, um, I'm not sure if you can see. Yep. Although no one's supporting him anymore. So that's interesting. Because they were supporting him before. But okay, that's that's quite good. So, all right, it's not going as bad as I thought. Anyway, uh, Ishmael, he has had some bids come in for him. Because there's still transfer windows open around the world. It's a Mexican team. But, like, he's worth 20 million. And they came in and they bid a really small amount. And I said no. And because I went to shot, we don't have a backup left back. So, you know, I thought I'd keep him here. Well, I mean, he has actually been playing uh, the last couple of games because I've needed a... Um, a left back, although he is picked today. Um, as you can see, he has been playing left wing back for the last three games, and he's actually been playing pretty decent. So, yeah, it's a it's a tough one, but hopefully we can kind of turn this little blip in form around, get a good win over Arsenal today, and then hopefully um, keep Saint Etienne right down the bottom of the table. And I mean, try, I was going to say try and catch PSG, but that's not going to happen. Eight games, eight wins, twenty four points, twenty six goal difference. Let's just have a look at this. They scored 28 goals with two conceded. Like, that's... It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We've lost two games. Monaco have lost one. Monaco have lost one game, and they're still seven points behind them. 
Erling Haaland is just 11 goals in seven games. What the hell? And Julian Alvarez was seven. So, I mean, you can't even, you can't compete. You cannot compete. Anyway, let's get into that game. I've done enough talking, whinging, moaning. Um, I'm really confident about this Champions League group. I know I kind of glossed over that a bit with all the other stuff going on, but I feel like with Arsenal dropping points to that first one, Feyenoord and, and uh, Club Rouge, I feel like we can really, really get um, get uh, qualify, qualify out of this group. I'm really, really stuck for words today. Anyway, Aljuari goal, Kruger right back, Capilla, Ame and uh, Ishmael. Capilla is quite tired, but we are short on centre-back, so, because Mbete is tired as well, and we're just doing a juggling act at the moment, so we'll get these guys through, rest them for St. Etienne, and then we've got an international break. Uh, Koska, Dumalin and Schmidt, Roussel and Shurinov on the wings, and McCormick up front. McCormick hasn't been the best of form, he's only got one league goal, and, uh, oh, and that's the other thing I've got to show you as well here, we've got um, Morganti, he is out for two weeks, and the other good news is Saka, has got a broken lower leg, and he is out for five months. So that is my brand new Turkish wonder kid uh, gone for, I mean, what's this, October? October, November, December, January, February. He's coming back, like, March time. I probably could have worked out quicker, but mm, March time for him. So that's, I mean, he's, I'll, he'll get a couple of months, and the season's right off. It's not good. Not good at all. But... Yep, tackle out of guard hard, but we, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna plow on. We're gonna try the best we can with the situation we've been given, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So here is Arsenal. They've still got Bakayo Saka. They got Jota, Swithrow, Sanchez, Odegaard, we saw that Gabriel, Tierney. We know how we line up. Let's keep the game off. This is a huge game here at um, it's gonna say Highbury, but that's not where Arsenal play anymore, and they haven't played there for a long, long time. So. Good stuff. I'm up with all the uh, current stadium names, but it is us for the highlight now, and it is Dumalin, and it is the nightclub boy Ishmael. But Arsenal have uh, nicked the ball off us, and Smith Rowe now, but Al Jawahi makes a, uh, a good save. Good, good save. So I feel like a good win over over Arsenal here would be excellent. I mean, a draw is also now. Now we now we hit the uh, the the injury crisis, obviously. Uh, we're going to bring Gutierrez on. Give the team talk, point your finger, going to make me proud. Uh, this is why you need a lot of players. You always start off with too many players at the beginning of the season. It's injuries, injuries, injuries. Uh, yeah, I think a draw would be a good result here away uh, against Arsenal. They obviously are struggling in the league in eighth spot. Um, but and hopefully, you know, I mean, a win over them would be great. Because I want to qualify. Is it, please don't be a red card. He's just run right past our captain and made him come back here. They're checking the penalty. That's what they're doing. No, it'll be outside the box, obviously. I thought he was going to give him a card. He is going to give him a card, though. No? He's just holding the card down. He's a little ref going, calm down. Anyway, lost my train of thought. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Tini on the ball now. Jota had it moments before, and the highlight comes to an end. Thank God to shout out some encouragement to the team. We haven't been playing that well, to be honest. It has been all Arsenal as Ishmael throws in for Ame now with the ball. And uh, he finds Capilla on a yellow card already. Big hoof up the ball, uh, up the field. And Schmidt. Schmidt has been really good since he came here. Really impressed with him. But that is a poor ball. Just as I give him some kudos, he stuffs it up. Anyway, we get the ball back through Dumalin. Capilla on the ball now. Capilla for Gutierrez, Costca, what can he do? He's going to try and square it. No, Gutierrez. Oh, <laughs> would have been an absolutely thunderous goal, but it's not to be. And we looked a little bit more lively there as uh, our XG slightly goes up from like 10 to, 20, to 0.26. But Arsenal, their head over the bar. They have been the more dominant team, as the XG would suggest, and the possession. Clear cut chances as well. Um, but we've, we've managed to hold them scoreless so far as Gutierrez tries to cut in and we, we, we lose out there. But Capilla at the back, the rock, as we call him, Gutierrez on the ball now, finds Kruger coming down the right flank. He looks cross it in and cuts back. I always say we're going to cross it in and they never do. Kruger floats it in and Schmidt. I did say Sebastian Schmidt had been good so far all season and he is proving 
to be an absolutely astute signing. Wonder Kid on a free. Kruger here with the ball. Back to Gutierrez. A little one-two with Kostka. Wasn't really a one-two. And Kruger over the top. And Schmidt there at the far post. Nods it in. And what that will put us in good stead heading into half time. And a final than Club Rouge draw. That is even better because that puts us. If we win this game. And uh, Bruges and final draw, that puts us a good four points and in a real, real good spot. Real Madrid is second in that group. So, you know, we want to avoid all those teams, but here is Roussel. He can't hold on to it. I've recently just called him up to the France setup as well, Edson Roussel. He's been playing some really good football. So, and I think there's quite a few old players in that front, front uh, French setup. Uh, so, I think it's time to start to blood some of these young. New gens coming through, but it's Arsenal now with a really good chance, and Joseph. But it's going to be called offside by the looks of it, hopefully. No, it looks like it's given, it's done that thing, that little glitch where it just sort of cuts off the the decision and just goes straight to a replay and puts the, puts the goal on the board. Mm. We're behind it now, straight off the, uh, into the second half. We are stringing a few passes here, and it is that man Schmidt again charging through. But Ramsdale is equal to the task. Chuck us some encouragement. Dumoulin is tired, as is Russell and McCormack. And they are not playing well. I didn't even realize how poor they were saying. There's me bigging up Russell, and he has looked really, really quite average. I'm going to bring. Uh, this is where we have a problem now. No, I think I think we're going to bring McCormick off. We'll do this, and we'll do this. That works quite well. Give a team talk, point your finger, go make me proud. I did say I'd be happy with the draw. I mean, you know, the win is a lot better. Watch for sell now. I think he he does this a few times. You go to sub him off, and he has a oh, outstanding bit of brilliance, and uh, and then you got to keep him back on, but. Nothing happens that. We make the substitutions. Gutierrez moving up to the front and Koska out to that right wing. And a shout out to the boys to uh, demand a bit more just as the highlight comes. MA and Ishmael just playing a little bit of uh, pass between each other. Gwervels can't get there. He doesn't have the pace to beat Frimpong. And uh, Joseph, the goal scorer for Arsenal now to James Ward Prowse playing for Arsenal. I didn't see that one. Great set piece take out. Odegaard now, Nelson, and then here is Kirantini crossing it in. And Thompson, I didn't even see where he had come from, probably behind my face, I'm guessing. But it's all to nothing as we are. I was going to say we're on the ball now, but it's not. It is Arsenal looking, probing here, trying to get another goal to uh, keep, I was going to say, keep their Champions League hopes alive. But it's kind of early days, so it's not really alive yet. Uh, but uh, I believe that's Reese Nelson heading over the bar. We'll see what happens. We've got another highlight happening here. But it is an Arsenal one, though. Frimpong with a free pick, kick. And Joseph and Odegaard combining. And Joseph, but Al Jawahi. Another smart save for him as Kruger and Capilla are on like death's door, as is the captain at this point. Not having a good game as the ball is headed over the bar. I'll take that because Arsenal probably could have scored about another one or two goals. Al Jawahi was excellent in goal. We didn't quite look up to it. Um, I'll say that we avoided defeat. Arsenal are a good team. Very good team. You'd expect them to beat a team like Bordeaux. Twisted ankle for sure enough. We'll leave him to the physios as Demarlin gets his yellow card right. Let's go and hopefully win a game because we haven't uh, in three now. All right, back for the same Etienne game. Uh, a couple of changes. Uh, Fila comes in at right back, Sergio at left back, and Mbappe in, uh, in the centre of defence. So three changes across the four were there. Adil and Al Musahi come in. Uh, Schmidt moves over to the right. Gutierrez on the right wing. Guevles on the left. And McCormack's still going to play up front. There could be a first game for Themba. Bazadine, he's another one who came to me. Slightly upset because he's down as a squad player. And uh, it's concerned about the amount of game time he's getting, as in, has not played a game yet. So, yeah, all right, mate, you might get on today. Chill out, because Gutierrez is tired. You know what? You can start. You can start. Go on. We've made the change. Uh, Costco's on the bench. He's pretty tired, too. So we've got uh, Kasunga, our Angolan international, has come on. Vargas 
Uh, Vargas still hasn't played too many games, but he will. Um, maybe we can start him ahead of Schmidt, although Schmidt is he's tired. All right, no, we'll, we'll 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 go with this. I think that's 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 what we're going with. That's what we're going. With. And we've got our first highlight. Ten minutes in. Uh, it is uh, not a yellow card to an Etienne Saint Etienne player, but that's a that is a wow. I did. I mean, it all happened so fast. I'm not even sure if he is offside. I. I mean, we'll definitely look at the replay for that, because I am... It's been awarded. It's been awarded. Good feeling. Just smart play. Every, no one was watching, and Guerwell's just on there, and this is probably why St. Etienne are rooted to the bottom of the table, although they have just climbed above Angers, and they've come back down again, obviously, with that goal. So that goal is good news for us. Other games that are happening, PSG just smashed whoever they played the other day. And, oh, I'm a great free kick. Great free kick there. Is Monaco there bidding Lille? So mm, they're going to stay a point ahead of us. But PSG played um, Strasbourg, maybe, and they, they just smashed them 3 0 because they don't. A pulled groin. We're going to ignore that. You whinged and whinged about game time. We'll probably change about half time. Just so you can nurse him through it. So we'll see how it goes. It is Zito on the ball now for St. Etienne, and he's through, and wow. He absolutely pumped that as we concede 10 minutes or so before half time. Zito here, he's just gone with De Leon. And this is great. He's just he's just split us wide open there. There is no defense and absolute thunderous effort. So what's old Zito look like? 27 and Golan. 27 and Golan, 27 year and Golan. Anyway, a deal with the corner, whips it in, but hey, we can't quite get it into the back of the net, but there's another corner, and it is going to be a deal on the ball this time. It is Mbete charging in, but Schmitz will pick up the ball, and back to a deal. A deal, better fan can't get there. Is it better fan? No, it's Bazadine. Better fan's the goalkeeper, who you also pronounce wrong. Ah, butchering names since I started this, so shout out a bit of encouragement. I can't do another... Can't drop more points here. Zito with the corner, the goal scorer, and oh, he's off the post as Gwibbles hacks it clear, and that is, surely that's a red card. That's a red card, isn't it? It's a nothing. Did he get a yellow? He didn't even get anything. Um, I'm going to bring it. Tomer McCormack is just not having a good time of it, is he? Uh, and I guess I'll be shit. We get a triple substitution, point the finger, uh, go and make a difference. Come on, someone make a difference, please. We we've now would have dropped because we, we should have been beaten Montpellier and Bete. And we probably should have beat uh, Lorient as well. So out of six points there, we picked up one. So we have five points from them, and we're probably gonna drop two points now against Saint Etienne. And get very attacking and demand some more. So that is now seven points dropped in three games. That is not that is not title challenges. No way. Not against teams like this. Adil Hokasangu. Oh, There's an appeal here for offside. Surely he's not offside. You're kidding me. Not happy, not happy. Got another highlight. It is St. Etienne on the ball now. They nick one here. I'll going to be happy. This is definitely, I've definitely gone full Jose Mourinho <laughs> if they score. It's all gone to pot. Need to leave Bordeaux, some sort of laundry cart or something. I don't know. Anyway, St. Etienne on the ball. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, Jawahi is there. <laughs> To make a smart save, it is going to be a corner. Oh, Jawahi, equal to the task. Thank God he's decent sometimes. Boosts it ahead, and the highlight ends. I'm going to demand some more here, and we are going to play with a higher tempo. No, a higher tempo. Um, be more expressive, sure, run at defence. Uh, and we're just going to chuck it up high. I'm going to go for it all here. They probably nick one. This is very risky. 
very risky, but I mean, we've been poor. We've been really, really poor. How can you reacted? Not happy with that. Not happy at all. What's a load of rubbish? Exactly, Mervyn Reed. I agree with you. I don't even, can't read the rest. There's no point reading them. They're all crap. I'm saying we're crap. Three to four days. Some scouting. This is not gone. Oh, hello. Mm. This guy, Nicola Rakalossi. Mm. Interesting. Let's add him to our shortlist. He could be good. Anyway, um, right. We have one in four games when we dropped seven points. Seven points. Seven. We should be on 24 and pushing PSG but we're not and we're not we're not going to win the league like this not going to win it at all I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to come back maybe for the um uh we'll probably come back to the last champions league game I'm going to say Bayern and uh, and and Brest maybe or where are they 12th and Rennes or 11th I don't know somewhere here Brest final somewhere here for the last champions league game um, I think just to round that off, we'll hopefully see the draw then for the next one. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, you're not subscribed to the channel. If you could subscribe, that would be good. Smash that, smash that like button and, uh, leave a comment down there and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.